Hey, how you doing folks? Week two of the NFL preseason has arrived and that means the starters will see more playing time on the field. In tonight's game against the Lions, the Washington Redskins were hoping to get the most out of their first teamers. There are still many lingering questions that loom, but most importantly, the Skins want to escape this game fully healthy. Washington and the Lions in FedEx Field opening drive. Robert Griffin III has absolutely no time to throw, swallowed up by the Lions defensive line. Later in the quarter, take a look at this hit. Griffin blasted by Steven Tolak. Man, that was violent. Second quarter, Griffin under siege again, trying to escape, sack, fumble, Detroit football. RG3 gets hurt on the play with a concussion. Not good. Two minutes left in the first half. Rookie running back Matt Jones plunges across the goal line from a yard out. The Skins down 10 to 7 at the break, and the Redskins come back in the second half to beat the Lions 21 to 17. The Phillies beginning a new road series in Miami. Top of the first, check out Marlins shortstop Adney Hetevaria. This is what you call a playmaker, an absolute beauty. Second inning, Miami adding to their three run lead. Martin Prado delivers a two run homer. The Fish now lead six to one. A couple of batters later, Marcel Ozuna. If it's fair, it's gone. Yes, sir. The Phillies lose on the road to Miami. 9-7. to seven. The Nationals wrapping up their road trip in Colorado. Bottom of the second, Ian Desmond getting fancy with a glove, records the out at first. Washington starter Max Scherzer getting into a nice little groove. When the right-hander is dialed in, good luck. Six innings with seven strikeouts. Bottom five, Jose Reyes breaks through. Double down the right field line. The Rockies grab the one to nothing lead. And right now in the top of the ninth, the Nats are behind. Three to two. Really late start for the Orioles tonight. There was a lot of rain in Baltimore. Look at this score. The Orioles only have three hits and they are losing to Minnesota nine to zero in the seventh inning. Down on the farm, the Shorebirds hosting Greenville, bottom of the fourth. The Delmarva Bats explode. Riley Palmer doubles into the left field corner. Cam Nealon scores. This game is tied at three later in the frame. Renarsi Ledesma collects an RBI base hit. The Shorebirds grab a 5-3 lead. They weren't done. Steele Russell with a fly ball to right. Good enough for a sacrifice fly. Delmarva would score six runs in the frame. And the Shorebirds top Greenville tonight 9-4. When you think of the North Carolina football program, you will get a good, hard-nosed and fundamental team. The Bulldogs take on the personality of their head coach, James McCormick. When you play North Carolina, bring your lunchbox because it will be a tough day at the office. It's time to go inside the huddle to the North Carolina Bulldogs. For the second straight season, the Bulldogs just missed out on the playoffs. Remember the name Kenny Jackson, the North Carolina running back, will be the focal point of this offense. He is a special player, my friends, that can single-handedly take over a football game. Coupled with 16 other seniors, the Bulldogs are the preseason talk of the conference. Big expectations for a team starving to make it back to the postseason. We got unfinished business. You know, every year goal for us is getting to the postseason. We've been a little bit short of that the last couple of years. Uh, so that's what we're shooting for. Now that doesn't happen in one game. Uh, it doesn't happen in five games, but it, it's a culmination of things throughout the season. I feel like if we do the things we need to do week in and week out, we'll be fine going in towards the long stretch of our season. We just got to keep our heads up. There were a couple games last year where we kind of let our heads get away from the game and we lost a little bit of focus. So if we can keep that focus for all four quarters, I think we can do pretty well and be a tough competitor. In the North Carolina has a very tough early season schedule. The first three teams the Bulldogs face all made it to the playoffs last year. Games against Easton, Cambridge, and Ken Island will be a fantastic measuring stick for the program. It's that time of the year again. A reminder to all those high school senior student athletes on Delmarva, we are currently accepting applications for our WBOC Mount Air Farms Scholar Athlete of the Month program. Every month, the honoree 
will receive a $1,000 college scholarship. Now, at the end of the school year, two of the winners will each be given an additional $2,500 college scholarship. In less than a month, we'll announce our September winner. So get those applications in. You can get it now on WBOC.com. Just click on our sports tab and all the information will be right there. A jury has found the director of security for the Ravens not guilty of charges that he groped a stadium worker after a game. Darren Sanders was found not guilty of second degree assault and a fourth degree sex offense. A Ravens spokesperson said the team was delighted with the verdict. Tiger Woods shot his best round in two years today in the first round of the Wyndham Championship in Greensboro, North Carolina. He carded a 64, which is his best round since shooting a 61 at the 2013 Bridgestone Invitational. Woods is currently ranked 286th in the world. And guys, this is a good start. Let's see if Tiger can keep it going and put together three more rounds in this tournament. That is the Tiger Woods we remember. Yes, sir. Come on, right. Tiger. Yep.